Today I'm going to be using the 6011 and 6013 welding electrodes to show you how they weld and what you might want to use in your projects. The only difference between these two rods, besides what electrode they are, is the thickness. 6011 is a 1 quarter inch thickness and 6013 is a 3 32nd inch. I did a little bit of testing with these electrodes and I found that 110 for the 6011 and 75 for the 6013 were just perfect for getting the right weld. For both of these electrodes, I'm gonna weld a butt joint on two eight inch long pieces of steel and I've ground down both plates on where the weld is going to happen. With 6013, when I was testing, I found that it was easier to go in a swirling motion instead of pulling straight across. It made the weld adhere a little bit better to both plates, but to give a control, I'm just gonna pull them both straight across the weld. The 6013 was kind of a difficult weld because this isn't a really hot rod. It doesn't want to melt too far away from where the arc is, but it still is fairly easy to control moving forward. I did have some hiccups right in the middle here where the arc would stop, but it was pretty easy to get it started again. The stop at the end of this long weld, it did not want to start that arc again. I could have gotten it to start again if I took a grinder to that nub, ground that down and started the arc again but instead I just finished the weld like that. There's not a lot of discoloration on the back of the weld, so it didn't penetrate too deep into the base metal, but my counter to that would be to take a grinding wheel, grind a groove right there, and then just run the rod back here again. You can tell by the amount of BBs on the weld with the 1611 that this is a higher deposition meaning that more of the weld rod is going to end up in the metal instead of flying out into spatter or little sparks. This rod really likes to stop because it's melting so much of that base metal that the arc length changes so much because it's melting the metal down and then increasing the length of the arc. So it really likes to change that arc length and stop the weld. It's not too hard to start the weld again, but it is pretty obnoxious to have to start and stop that again. It also makes the slag in each of the crevices harder to remove because it's a stop and a start of a weld. So that slag in there, if you absolutely needed to get it out, you'd have to use a grinder. But I hope this helped you decide on which electrode you should go with. If you have any questions about either of these rods, be sure to let me know. Although the 6011 has a higher deposition rate, the 6013 is easier to control and not as likely to burn through the steel as 6011. If you're welding thicker material, you could start by grinding a groove where your weld's gonna be, running a 6011 rod to get further penetration in the steel, and then covering that weld with a 6013 so that you're using basically the same metal, but you're able to build up more of a weld with the 6013. I'll make another video demonstrating that process, but I hope this helped you decide on which rod you wanna use in your projects.